Hi, welcome back to the workshop. Thanks for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to be making a real simple wooden pug on the bandsaw. I'll post the plans on my Etsy store should anyone want to make one of their own. I start off with a wooden blank. It's the same material that I make the bandsaw reindeer from. The plans were hand drawn and then loaded into software and just tidied up so I can reproduce them again and again. Using a sharp knife and a ruler, I cut around the outside of, of the plans. Once the plans are cut out, I then fold them and then use this fold line to mount down one side. I use some spray adhesive to mount the plans onto the blank itself. I'm not worried about having to peel the plans off because all of this excess material along with this paper plan will be discarded at the end. Nice and smoothly stuck on, mounted tight to the bottom of the blank. Once I'm happy with this and it's dried, it's then over to the bandsaw. To start off with, I cut the face profile. Working around the ears and then coming back to loop around the top of the head, trying to leave the off cut in one piece. This makes it easier to work on the next stage. It's just a matter of letting the blade do the work and cutting the piece out. Then I can go back and trim the inside of the ears and round the inside of the legs. I apologise for the uh, slightly out of focus. Once that's done, I use a hot glue gun to mount the pug back into the off cut, making sure that I can get as much hot glue around the edge to keep everything together in one piece. It's important to stop things moving around to get an accurate cut. Then it's back onto the bandsaw and it's just a process of following around the outside lines. The blade I'm using here is a 3 10 TPI wood blade. And then here's the all important diagonal cut. This diagonal cut will allow the front legs to be shorter and the back legs to be longer. So, once I've got the uh, plans followed, I then roughly mark up where I'm going to cut the cheeks and cut back into the ears. Because of the diagonal cut for the feet, it now means the head sticks forward of the front feet, allowing me to just stand the pug and just cut straight in on the cheeks first of all, and then follow the line of the ears in. And I'm completely missing the feet and the chest of the pug here. And now, everybody's favorite process. I rip some sandpaper down the side of a lollipop stick, fold it over and then just sand with more sanding and more sanding. And that end needs sanding too. And here she is, the finished pug. Short front legs, long back legs. I was quite happy with the way it turned out. Thanks for watching and as always don't forget to click like and subscribe should you want to watch more videos from Kingston Lane Workshop. We'll see you next time.